This June, the world's eyes will be on Brazil, with over 3 billion people watching last time. If you laid all these people end-to-end -end around the equator, you'd be a dick. It's the world's number one sport, and nowhere is more football mad than Brazil. Oh, those Brazilians, you know, circulating. <laughs> They've nabbed the World Cup a record five times, and Brazilians are so obsessed that banks and shops shut down three hours before matches. Swat! That was liquid football! So they must be over the moon about hosting the World Cup, right? Wrong. Unfinished stadiums, fatal accidents, and fears for player safety have put the famous festival atmosphere into real doubt. This isn't because they haven't spent enough dinero, because it's going to be three times more expensive than South Africa. So where's it all gone? Well, despite promises of investment to help local people, most of the money has been pocketed by private companies. And so the people of Brazil have taken to the streets in their thousands to oppose a tournament in which many of them can't afford a ticket. With all this in mind, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the World Cup was organized by a team of highly untrained monkeys. But in fact, it's the in no way corrupt FIFA who have also presided over awarding the next two World Cups to the famously open and tolerant Russia and Qatar, and signing official sponsorship deals with the wonderfully nutritious Coca-Cola and McDonald's. But who cares about football being the people's game when FIFA are raking in 1.2 billion pounds a year? Well, we do. So this year, we're going to take it back to its roots. We're going to put down the official World Cup branded burger with supersized Coke and get down the park jump us for goalposts, rush goalies, and remind ourselves why we fell in love with the beautiful game in the first place. 